Many residents in Pushmataha County have been without water for almost three weeks now. They say this has been an ongoing problem for the last couple of years. News 12's Talia Munson spoke with some of those who are affected. We've had not a drop for 18 days mm -hmm. of no water. Karen and Tammy have been neighbors in Sobel for 12 years, but recently water outages are happening more frequently. We've been without lots. And these, in the last two years, we've probably been without water more than we've had and water. When there's no running water in their home, it's time to load up the car. Load up all of our water containers, go up to our neighbor's house, fill what I can, come back, try to fill up jugs to where we can flush our toilets. And even then, they have to boil the water. Another inconvenience and expense. I'm doubling up on my propane because of still no water to heat for the hot water heater to fill up. With or without water, they say their bill is the same price, if not more, every month. Rural Water District 3 sent a statement to News 12 that reads, Our South Water Tower is not filling quickly enough, which is keeping all other water towers low. They have crews walking water lines looking for leaks, but their faucets are still dry. We see a lot of them drive up and down the road, but we got to see proof they're doing something. On Wednesday, Rural Water District 3 called an emergency meeting to discuss the water crisis. Reporting, Talia Munson, News 12.